Hey everybody and welcome to today's quick tip video where we're going to try to address one very simple question and that is how to add some aging to our model. Now for this video I've chosen one of IKEA's models. It's a very simple chair to help us with our task at hand. So first of all let me just show you how it looks like when it's rendered. There it is. This is, a, this is it so far. As you can see, it's a very uh, simple shader. We have some blue color, some reflection, some glossiness, and just so we can get that uh, woody texture, I've added a simple wooden texture, black and white. There it is. Now, how do we make this so it looks like it's more faded? Well, there are actually two ways of doing this. The first one would be if I want to unwrap this whole model and then use actual faded textures in the diffuse channel and that way make a very custom texture that I can use only for this chair. Now that's not a bad choice nor, nor am I saying it's an uh, invalid choice but that means that that texture is only going to be used or valid for this model. Now the idea here is to see how we can uh, get this model to appear aged but get it so it's in a more of a procedural way generated so the way to do it is quite simple with v-ray all you have to do is jump over into diffuse slot over here and add a v-ray dirt material so once you do this if this is the first time you're using v-ray dirt you need to know that there are two uh two very important things you need to remember. First of all, it's the mode in which the V-Ray Dirt works. It's by default, it's made to be with uh, or work as an ambient occlusion. What that means is all around the crevices or all around the places where two or more uh, vertices or planes get together, we're going to have some color appearing. But let's see how that would look like on our model. So I'm just going to re-render this portion over here. And what you're going to be actually seeing here is two colors, black and white. One is going to be uh, the color for the occluded places and the other one is going to be for the uh, unoccluded. So let's see how this thing looks like as it is right now. So with the default, I can see that I have some uh, darker or black color around the edges, but just so it's easier to see, I'm going to swap these. So I'm going to pull the black to the white and swap them around and re-render one more time. And now with the swapped colors, you can see it much better because it's a much more visible contrast between the black and the white. So with the V-Ray Dirt, what we've done is we've added this extra whiteness here. Now we can see that we have some on the bottom, then we have a lot of black, then we have some on the crevices over here, and pretty much all the places where two or more faces meet up. Now if you want to increase the level of white we have here, or the level of the occluded color, all we have to do is increase the radius of it. So if, for example, if I'm going to try to emphasize this more, so I'm going to shoot it up to 50 centimeters, this is going to give us a much more white uh, effect all around. So let's re-render and see it. And from what we can see here, now we have a lot more white all, uh, all across our model. Now the next thing that we can uh, con well control over here is the distribution. For example, if we want to have this uh, whiteness much more localized, we can in increase the distribution to something like, I don't know, even 5 or 10, and that should uh, get it more in control. So again, let's see. And as we can see over here, now the white or the occluded color is much more localized. And now, once we have all of this uh, done, we can proceed to see how the texturing or uh, how the bitmap portion of uh, V-Ray Dirt works, uh, works like. Like all of the places where you can use maps in Max, the same thing applies over here. As you can see over here, where we um, set the radius to 50 centimeters, we have that same portion over here, but 
next to it, we have a none. This allows us to use bitmaps. Same with the occluded and unoccluded colors. So first of all, let's just change it so it doesn't look like it's just a simple black color. That means I want to have in my unoccluded color, I want to have a texture. For my texture, I'm going to use a wooden texture I have here. So drop it down in the unoccluded color. I'm going to click it, make sure it looks decent. Uh, I'm going to put it so the tiling is three by three and it should look better. And now I'm going to re-render this thing one more time so I can have an updated version of my render. And as we can see over here, now it looks much better. And we can see all that white giving the wood some uh, more faded look. But to give it one more extra level of realism, we can control where this white or where the occluded color, color appears, how it actually does look when it uh, appears. So the way to do it is by controlling the radius with a mask. So I'm going to use a black and white texture. So something like this, very black and white. I'm going to pull it into the radius over here. I'm going to click, see how it looks like as it is. Let's increase the tiling just a tiny bit. Yeah. So what this mask is going to do is basically tell the uh, the radius or uh, where the occluded color should appear so everything that's white is going to appear everything is black it's gonna disappear so pretty easy let's see how the thing is gonna look once we re render it and as soon as the render is finished now we can see that we have a much more organic look or how the color would fade out from the model from, from time or wear and tear. So with this, we can call our model done. And like I said in the beginning, this is a very fast and uh, dirty way of making some wear and tear on your model. Of course, if you wanna have a cleaner uh, result or a more controlled result, you would have to unwrap the whole thing and then do a custom texture for it all. This way, you can get a result like this by simply using the V-Ray Dirt. Now the only thing that I can see here that would probably uh, be helpful to do is once you start adding age, make sure that you go ahead and decrease the uh, glossiness so that after you add some age, the glossiness is, is probably gonna drop to something like 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 and get that older look. So if you guys enjoy watching this video, then don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button as it really does help a lot. And that would be it for this video. I hope you guys had fun. You managed to learn something new and well, take care and I'll see you all in the next video.